teleprompter scan and should you use them in a live video setup. And I will be covering these topics in detail. What are the pros and cons of teleprompters? What are the challenges to use them in a live video setup? How should you use them? And I'm showing you in a demo how exactly you make a teleprompter work. And I'm also showing you some alternatives and hacks to teleprompters and give you my final evaluation. So this is the studio layout of your potential home studio. So you have the camera, the light, the background, the sound, everything is okay. And the teleprompter actually finds itself well, here it is on top, here where the camera is, and it is actually in front of the camera. It is a 45 degrees semi-transparent mirror that reflects a screen and therefore reflects the text onto this surface. And so you are looking at on the surface, you can read the text, but the camera is shooting through it. So a very nice thing. These are, of course, the advantages of a teleprompter. You can present in the exact way how you want to say it. This could prevent you from stumbling. However, there are also disadvantages included because the preparation and handling is a lot. So you have to load your text, you have to edit it, and you really have to make sure that the software that plays the text and scrolls the text is scrolling in the right text. And if you have a little fault and a little typo in the text, so you have to be improvising on that. So you have to still think a lot not to stumble and have to read it again. Teleprompters in a live setting can be challenging because it has to work at the first time. So you are live, so it has to work. The speed has to be okay. Um, everything has to fit. The text has to be okay. And you also have to be able to start into the teleprompter reading easily. So how do you switch on the teleprompter? And then you have to be able to switch from the teleprompter mode into the live presentation mode where you are more interactive and you're really going to answer and connect with the audience. But of course it is possible to use a teleprompter and one teleprompter is the Parrot teleprompter. It is a non-expensive affordable device that is a small uh, device that you put on uh, towards your digital camera and it actually uses a smartphone as a display. The only thing that you need for it is an app that shows and displays the text on the mirror of the teleprompter, but it has to display this text in the reverse form. So it mirrors it again and so everything is nice to read. And I'm going to show you how such a teleprompter it can look like. I am just to start this text here that I have just prepared for this recording. This is the app here. This is the teleprompter app that I've just loaded. So you basically go in into a collection of scripts. So you open this script so you can also always modify it. Um, and here you have the text if you want to have an additional space or anything else, you can do that. Then you just have to make sure that here and uh, that is here that the text is not shown in the reverse way and also for me it is also turned upside down. And so this is how it looks like then the text is in a mirrored and upside down manner and then I put this into the teleprompter device. It has this little ledge here and then the only thing that you have to do is then to really rewind it and to start it here, click on the start and then, so then the text is scrolled in a certain speed so you can change the speed of the text but normally the slower speed is the better especially if you are a non-native speaker like I am. So you should give it a little bit of time to do pauses, to do also accents of on the text, to speak it the best you can. So the better you speak, the better you will be understood of course. And doing pauses is not so bad.
So this is how it looks like and I can then read the text. I can read the text from here. So you have to be able to start and direct it easily. You have to be able to switch from the read mode to the free speaking mode and so forth. And uh, it works perfectly if it's set up. The only thing is you need to start it and you need to set up this teleprompter when you need it. Yeah, there are also alternative teleprompters and there is one teleprompter that I really like and this is a teleprompter app that you can use in your smartphone already. So it works like this. It shows you the text really close to the lens of the smartphone. So it is like you would be doing a selfie and you can then scroll the text in your speed because with the touch control you can then scroll the text as you like. And I am going to show you this in a second demo right now as well. So this is the Prompt Smart Pro app. Here I have just opened up the teleprompter text that is also the basis on my, of my YouTube video here. And I can really easily scroll along. I can do some changes. So this is how it looks like. So I go to done. So I have here the text loaded. And you see this blue part here. So, okay, so I now have the text loaded. You can see it here on the display and then I can easily scroll the text as I like. And when I'm clicking here the play sign, it will then record me and I can say then, okay, in principle, a teleprompter can be a useful thing if you have a complicated text that you would like to present in the exact way. And if you're not sure how, uh, if you're not sure if you would stumble because of the handling and preparation, it is not an evident choice for live streaming in a live video on social networks or a webinar on Zoom. Yeah, so now I can actually save the video well, this is a YouTube video that I recorded with a teleprompter and I was very happy with the result. Now oh, look at this. So it's not bad if you want to do a good recording on the go. So this is really first choice. So you have seen that teleprompters are a useful tool, but you have to think wisely when you use them in a live video setup. However, there are great possibilities for recording for, for example, YouTube videos, for messages when you really want to be concise quickly. And uh, so you use these teleprompters as a memorization aid to then not get lost and deliver your message really efficiently. When you are in live video, the possibilities are there. So I would never say never using a teleprompter. However, the technical level of teleprompters are quite high. It's an additional complexity and you have to think well when you use them. So I would recommend to use a teleprompter in a live setting, whether it's a webinar or it's a live video on social networks for an introduction when you really want to be sure to deliver the message and then you have a second camera and the teleprompter already there and then you read your message you click on the teleprompter so the message is running so you're delivering your introduction or your key sentences that you really want to make straight and then you're turning back again to your live video camera and so you're addressing your audience in a real loose and uh, also relaxed and interactive way. But remember there are always options for something similar than a teleprompter. There are many ways to deliver your live video in a very professional way and sometimes these are so simple and non expensive to do. For example, think of the sticky notes, the posted posted notes that you put on your screen with the keywords that you really want to mention during your speech and your live video or use a flip chart in the back of your uh, camera or in the background in general that you can use then for noting your main points, your structure. So you can always look a little bit in the back. And so here you have it, your structure. And then also not forget the simple 
sheet on the table where you have your structure written down some keywords and so you always have this memorization aid. And then last but not least, try to write a script how you really want your live video, your webinar to happen and then memorize the first sentences. So you visualize your first sentence, your first paragraph and then also the structure with an interesting story that it's so wild and has so many images and so many cross links that you just cannot forget it even if you are a little bit stage frightened. And this is it, how you can use a teleprompter in a live setting. My final evaluation is never say never, take the possibilities when they are useful, but also think of the main thing of a live video, be interactive, be close to your audience and keep this energy and this flow of ideas onwards. And so therefore you will then establish this line of trust and then you just build up this long term relationship with your followers, with your audience and your customers to be.